Today, I'm joined by Randy Marsh from the Lloydminster Motor Club to get some tips and advice on how to be best prepared for winter driving. So to start really the big question with all the snow that came in overnight and into this morning, um, what can people do to really get their cars ready for driving in conditions like this? Don't leave it for the last minute. Uh, <laughs> this is a big one. But um, no, I, I'm originally actually from Vancouver Island and we don't really get too much snow and stuff like that. Coming out here was a big shocker and a couple of things that I learned over the years. Uh, winter tires definitely do help exponentially. Um, it's never a bad idea to carry an extra set of jumper cables or a battery booster, toe straps in the back as well, because it's not, it's not going to take up much space out of the car, but in the case that you are actually stuck, it's definitely going to help if you do need to get pulled out. Um, a good battery as well, um, gets you through and some of the very cold days, which we are, uh, very used to getting out here for sure. And then I guess as temperatures begin to drop over the next few weeks, plugging in your car is going to become more important. Do you have any advice sort of, I guess, on when to start plugging it in at certain temperatures? Um, it's never, I think a lot of the recommendation is to plug it in once it hits about minus seven degrees Celsius. That's when a lot of the stuff kicks in for a lot of the safety features for heating up the cars with the block heaters. Inline coolant heaters help as well for vehicles that don't have the option for a block heater. Um, and another thing too is, uh, you want to make sure that you don't, uh, don't rush. You give yourself the extra 10 minutes possibly to get into where it is you need to go. Um, leave yourself plenty of uh, stopping distance as well when you're driving and uh, just prepare for it's it's in winter it has to be defensive driving not offensive driving because you got to kind of prepare for the worst and just hope it doesn't happen so you had mentioned having winter tires Um, is there any real big differences between the winter tires versus I guess all season or all weather well, a lot of the winter tires, they actually have um, uh, fins kind of grooved into them, which give better grip on the ice and snow. Um, studded tires help a lot for the ice as well. Um, personally, I think if you have an option for studded winter tires, definitely go for it because uh, it is just going to add a little bit better traction for any vehicle that has them uh, during the winter months. And then you had talked a little bit about sort of having almost uh, an emergency kit in the backseat of your car. Um, what would be some other things that you'd maybe put in there? Um, gloves, tow rope, um, booster cables, or a booster pack. Um, just if you get stuck, and especially if you get stuck out of town, it's going to be a little bit for uh, recovery to make its way to you. So it's, it's never a bad idea. Just plan ahead, um, throw a couple snacks in there, <laughs> um, uh, backup battery for charging your phone and stuff like that too, as well. Uh, never a bad idea to have. Just always, it's just like, it's better to have it, not need it than need it, not have it. That's great. That's all the questions I had, but, uh, is there anything else you'd want to add about maybe just driving in winter and how to be best prepared? Um, yeah, just, just give yourself that extra time to make it to your destination safely. You're not in a rush. You're not in a race. Um, increase your stopping distance. Uh, don't, uh, take off from an intersection because when you do, if your tires spin, you actually create a layer of ice over that portion that you're spinning on, which one vehicle, not so bad, multiple vehicles throughout a day, you're going to get really icy intersections and it gets to be really unsafe. And the plows can't be everywhere all at the same time. So uh, just be uh, courteous of yourself. Be courteous of your fellow drivers and just be safe. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me.